Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell, uh, there is a huge mess in my house right now. There's things everywhere. Every single surface is completely covered. If you're new to my channel, basically the reason why I have stuff all over the place is because we had a huge AC leak and we had to take out half the floors and a lot of the walls on half my house. So I need to get all this cleaned up so that we can actually move the furniture that's hiding underneath it and we can move everything back in once the floors are put in, which hopefully they start tomorrow. And let's just get to it because it is hot and I am tired. <laughs> So as much as I wanted to talk and clean, I am 33 weeks pregnant and always out of breath. So trust me, you guys, you don't want to hear that. But basically what I'm doing here is I am just trying to clear off everything on the couch and I am trying to like relocate it pretty much in any place of my house, mainly in my room and then areas that I think it'll be near where I actually need it later. So I'm just trying to organize all that and even put the picture frames all together so that it's going to be easier later on when we move back in and I'm not 100% sure when that's going to be. Hopefully it's going to be in the next week because the floors are supposed to arrive um, tomorrow, I believe, or on Monday and Monday is going to be the 19th. And oh my gosh, you guys, that day cannot come soon enough because we have been living in a hotel for, I think, seven weeks now and I really miss living at home. It is not easy to be living in a hotel when you're pregnant with a toddler and it's just really difficult take my word for it i do have a vlog on that so i will link that up above that being said i absolutely thank god that all of this happened before baby boy arrived because i cannot even imagine doing this with a newborn and it would just be so chaotic but it's getting taken care of and it's going to be safe and clean and dry because there was just so much water damage done from the leak and a little bit of mold as well. But abatement came in. They also took care of the asbestos because we do have an older home, so they tend to have asbestos. Uh, but now we are in, or we're not in the thick of it anymore. And <laughs> now we're getting through it, so I'm happy. All right, you can actually see this couch, so that is some progress. I am sweating, it is making me work to do this. But now I just have to put the rest of the stuff on these two couches away, and of course start in the dining room. Okay, so I got these couches cleared up and ready to go. I feel so much better already. And I also got this cleaned up. These are just my things I'm gonna go to the hotel with. Yeah, looking good, people. This is totally hard to do this pregnant, but I am just like a type A super control freak. I like things to go exactly where I like them to go. So I really just wanted to take it upon myself to do these things um, and organize the house. And it did make me feel a little bit better because I'm kind of like in the nesting stage right now. Okay, it's nice to know this is clear already at least. Now I just gotta clear up everything over here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop here. I might do a little bit more and then I will come back tomorrow. I'm so sweaty. I'm sorry, it's gross. Uh, but I'm gonna do the garage tomorrow and then this and I'm not looking forward to that. 
It's just that I like everything where it's at, so Kevin just comes and like picks up the big pieces and the trash and everything. I'm not lifting anything heavy or anything, so see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. It's day number two and we are gonna attack this garage next. Okay, so today we're gonna be attacking the garage. I am basically just trying to clear up all the things that are on top of the furniture so that when they move the furniture in, it's a lot easier. And also because it's so chaotic, they basically just threw all our stuff. Random boxes, there's no order to it. So I need it to be organized. Let's go. Voice over Ashley here again. By the way, I totally forgot to mention while I was filming the video that by they, I mean the company that came in and was doing the um, demolition of all the damages, taking up the floors, uh, putting apart like the walls or whatnot and trying to assess the damage they're the ones who had to move all the furniture off of my floors and closets and the hallway closets and the kids rooms and everything so they just put a bunch of things in the boxes to get it out of the way unfortunately they really just kind of were doing it rushed and i was not there to oversee it uh so not to be like snippy or anything but it has definitely made this process a lot harder Okay, so some of the boxes are a little bit organized, but as you can tell, they literally just stacked and threw stuff on top of each other. And some of our stuffed animals got ruined, just have like mold on them or something. And they just literally threw everything everywhere. So a couple things got ruined. I'm pretty annoyed. <laughs> At least we're making headway. Okay, I realize I actually need this by my bedside so that I can change baby boy in the middle of the night because we are gonna be setting up like a kind of semi-nursery next to our bed. So I have to empty this out into here. And this will be the rest of the toy box. Okay, it doesn't look like a ton, but everything's off of here and put away. I organized all of these boxes. So I actually have two empty boxes and then I emptied all of the baskets so I can clean everything that was in there. I cleared out this chair. I also cleaned off everything that was on this side table and the side table where the baskets are on, as well as everything that was on top of baby girl's dresser. I did not organize these boxes because they do actually go in her closet. So even though they're a mess, they actually do make sense. Um, and then only three animals were harmed in the making of this disaster because of the leak. So the rest actually survived and that is a full box. That however did not survive and needs to be thrown away. When we, when we move back in, I basically just have to go through all these boxes. This is like all my breastfeeding and all my bottles and just things like that, decorations, toys and books. So all in all, not too shabby. And now we have to go do the dining room. So I purposefully <laughs> left this for last because I knew I was gonna be in the garage and it was gonna be super hot. So the AC has been running so the house cools down and now I can do this with some nice AC and basically stop sweating. So we're gonna tackle this next and last.
Okay, thankfully I did a little bit yesterday. So these boxes are somewhat organized. At least I know that it goes in the hall closet and in the bathroom. And then I just cleared off the entire table and the bottom and the top I had already cleared up yesterday. So that made it easier. This is just kind of like our catch all. So I'll just leave whatever is in there right now. And then over here is the vacuum that goes in the hall closet. You know, just a little bench for the island that goes in the kitchen. And then other things that belong on areas that don't have flooring right now. That is for the bathroom. I literally could not fold that. <laughs> so I'll just put that out of the way. And then our carpet and everything is ready. All right, well, I think that I am pretty much done. Just have to organize one little area over here. For some reason, the ottomans out here and there's just a bunch of stuff on it. So I'm just gonna clean this up and then I should be done. If only everything was that easy, <laughs> but that part's done. And now we just wait to get these beautiful floors in and then it's time to move back in and that'll be my next video. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end my video here because I'm so tired, but everything got done that I wanted to get done. And I will definitely have a video up soon, hopefully when the floors are all in, moving back in and starting to reorganize. Um, cause whew, it is a lot of work, <laughs> but once again, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you in my next one.